City leaders and community advocates gathered in City Hall Park today calling attention to the issues of Asian American Pacific Islander and that community is facing. CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis reports on the changes they want to see happen. We cannot celebrate Heritage Month, AAPI Heritage Month without discussing exactly what our community is navigating when we're supposed to be celebrating. For that very reason, the Asian American Federation brought together AAPI advocates, amplifying community voices and concerns. They are crippled by the anxiety um, and stress of being assaulted, uh, being harassed. Leaders of several city nonprofits gathered here say a rise in anti Asian hate crimes has led to a greater need for their services. The call volume to our 24 hour hotline has increased by three. 300%. Violence against Asian Americans in our city is fueling a mental health crisis as well in our communities. And a focal point is improving access to mental health services. Culturally competent mental health care that is in every language. Plus education. Linda Lee is among city council members who wrote a resolution backing proposed state legislation that would require public school students be taught about AAPI history and contributions. It normalizes people seeing us as part of um, the importance in the fabric of New York City. So I think that will really help to break down a lot of those barriers. Those who spoke here want to drive home the point these are issues that need attention beyond AAPI Heritage Month to ultimately yield change. This is a call to people to support these nonprofits. This is a call to the city to prioritize them as the experts uh, in funding and in policy making. The anti Asian hate isn't just an Asian problem, it's a society problem for all, for all of us to focus on. In City Hall Park, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. And today, city council members also introduced a resolution that calls on the Department of Education to establish Diwali as a holiday for public school students.